Laura TV. We are Jay and Laura LaFoon here for your life, your marriage, and your family coming to you from beautiful, beautiful downtown, downtown Alma. Alma and Audio Foundry That's Studios. That's right. Well, I cannot believe what I'm about to say, but I am golfed out, okay? I am completely golfed out. August is the month of golf outings, golf scrambles, you know, all the little tournaments, and um, I get invited to play in a lot of them for one reason and one reason, eh, two reasons. Number one, I like to have fun, but number one is because I'm a really good putter. You just said number one, you mean number two. The number one reason <laughs> is because I'm a good putter. I really putt well, and um, that's how you score in scrambles, so people love to have me on their scramble team. I love to be on scramble teams. However, it's the end of August, and I am golfed out absolutely golf done out. golfing and He's given tired. today's topic okay given today's topic i am too exhausted and frankly too scared to <laughs> offer any information so we're turning it over to laura yeah so go. this should be fun to see if he doesn't interrupt let's count you count at home to see how many times he interrupts me to interject even though he says he's too tired to say anything but well, <laughs> we are continuing you know, last week we talked about what is it that women want so this week God we thought knows. we got to be fair see there you go number one this week, you guys are keeping count, right, of how many times he interrupts. This week, we're going to talk about what is it that men want. We have to be fair. If we've talked about what the women want, we have to talk about what the men want. Now, ladies, here's reality. Our husbands are much less complicated than we are, okay? It's just the way it Shove is. Shove naked, now, bring food, don't block the TV. No, we're not talking about those three today. <laughs> now, this, I may be generalizing, okay? That's given you got to generalize in some way, shape, or form about men in general. So this may not be your husband. I'm talking about my husband and other men that I know that this is what they want. And here are the three things I've come up with. Jay's wanted the same three things for our entire married life. Sex, peace and quiet, and his underwear ironed. It's pretty easy, you know, but here, we'll start with the physical. Seriously, though. Yes, I want my underwear <laughs> ironed. Sorry. Are you keeping track of how many times he interrupts? Okay, so if it... Seriously, though, in this area of sex, if you've been to any of our conferences and date nights, you've heard us say the statistic before. Social scientists tell us that men need sexual release every 72 hours. That's not every 72 days. It's every 72 hours. Every three days. You're doing really good keeping your mouth shut there. But realizing that that, and here's the other thing I've just figured out, ladies. We've been married 30 years this coming December. When we're taking care of their needs physically, you can get whatever you want. So just Take care of him. It's that easy. No. Rocket <laughs> the other thing, peace and quiet. Now, seriously, you know, if you are in a home where you have three, five, one child running around the house, you're going seriously, peace and quiet. That's not going to happen. But here's what it looks like. When they come home from work, at least when my husband comes home from work, when he comes home from being out, from being around people, he needs some time to just go do his own thing. It may be, he may go out in the backyard and spray the flowers with stuff because he just needs some peace and quiet. He may come in and turn on the TV. Now, I already hear some of you women going, that's not peace and quiet. It's not the TV. It's, it's the, the zone. it's getting in the zone, getting in that alone time. They just need some time to, re I'll give you this perfect illustration. Our daughter, who's very much like her father, when she comes home from school, she's been at school all day. She's had swim practice at six o'clock at night. She grabs something to eat. She goes to her room. We give her 30 minutes to just have some grace time because it's that peace and, and quiet. Then she needs to have that time to get. So that's that peace and quiet. Now, the third thing, so we've got sex, peace and quiet, and now the underwear ironing. Now, I know some of you went seriously. Okay, it's not necessarily that your husband needs his underwear ironed. And yeah, he doesn't wear whitey tighties. Have we figured that out? He wears boxers. boxers. So the little leg part has to be whatever. We won't go into it. Your husband has some quirkiness. That's what we're talking about here. Something is quirky about him. Jay, it's his underwear ironing. Our good friend Russ doesn't want anything on the kitchen counters. No coffee pot, no mixer, no utensils. His kitchen counters must be spotlessly clean and free of clutter. clutter. What that is, is that need for respect. Now, everybody needs respect. A woman needs respect, a man needs respect. It just looks differently. And for Jay, when I iron his underwear, he, what it says to him is that I've taken the time to realize this is something that's really important to him. Silly. Even though it sounds weird, it's something really important to him. And when I do that, it shows respect. It's not any different. I grew up in the South. When you walked in my mom and dad's house, you took a baseball cap off your hat, head because that was a sign of respect. You don't wear a hat in the house. So we're talking about... Yes, physical intimacy. We're talking about peace and quiet, letting your husband have that time to 
rejuvenate and re re what is it's like recharge Connect. emotionally so go. that he can re so he can connect with his with you and his family and then that quirkiness that that whatever it is he needs from you that says i know that you respect me yeah that's right well there are a number of books out there that will help you understand your spouse and how they are different our good friends who we're doing a cruise with this january you can still sign up beat the winter, we've heard this coming mm -hmm. winter is going to be worse than last winter, so beat the winter, join us on the cruise. But our good friends Bill and Pam Farrell wrote a book, Men Are Like Waffles, Women Are Like Spaghetti. Great book to understand the opposite sex as we've spent the last two weeks on the opposite sex. And then our book, He Said, She Said. Honestly, uh, not trying to you know sell it or whatever, but we, yeah, we are. email after email after email of people saying, finally, I understand where my spouse is coming from. Doesn't mean you're always going to understand them, but you know where they're coming from. Well, we are Jay and Laura LaFoon, helping you understand the opposite sex. We're here for your life, your marriage, and your family. We'll see you next week.